Hey Casher, Derek here, Baker Six Clan. Today I'm gonna be building a brand new gadget cache that I've been thinking about for over six months. And I've been trying to figure out this mechanism and I think I got it. So now I'm gonna build a prototype to see if it works. This gadget that I've been thinking about for over six months, I kind of got the idea of watching some woodworking YouTube channels and saw this really cool hidden drawer aspect. And I was like, man, how can I put that into a gadget cache and some type of mechanism cause it to lock and then release to come out, but look like it's completely hidden. Well, and I've been kind of running this idea around in my head for, like I said, for over six months. And I finally found a release mechanism that I'm gonna show you later. So you guys stick tuned to watch to see that release mechanism um, to put, do this cache. But first thing is first, I have to actually build the drawer itself and then build the outside housing for the release mechanism to go into. So that's what we're gonna start off with first. I'm gonna build the drawer and the outside of the birdhouse to see how this is gonna work. Let's get started. All right, so now I have the secret compartment built. And the next step is that I need to start building the birdhouse around it to kind of hide it. And the way I'm gonna have this kind of slide out is I'm actually gonna use these casters and it's gonna kind of sit on two different casters. And then it's also going to have two casters on the top. So when it comes out, it literally just slides right out real smooth when it releases from that mechanism. Now, let's get this part built. So now the housing for the hidden drawer is all built out. It's got the casters on the bottom and on the top, so that drawer will slide nice and smooth. So take the drawer, we're gonna slip it in, and see how that just moves really nicely in there. Now I'm gonna have to put a stopper back here in the back so the drawer doesn't come all the way out because I don't want it to come all the way out because it would make it maybe a little bit difficult to put it back in. But what really is going to make this cache is the release mechanism. Now this is a 12 volt electronic uh, cabinet latch, but you don't have to use the electronic part because this little pin right up here will actually release just with a little bit of pressure will release the mechanism and it just really slings it out now i found this through chad bounce bounce because he used this on one of his caches and i was like man how can i use that and when i got it it finally clicked on this cache what it can do so now what i need to do is take this electronic latch that i'm not going to use the electricity for but i could at some other point but what i'm going to do is add this into the hidden drawer and get it all set up So now I've got the cabinet release mechanism installed into this cache and I put it on two two by fours to get it up there to the right level where I need it to be. 
Now, it really does not take a lot to push on this mechanism to get it to open. Now watch, and it just opens right out, opens it up, opens that door, and that locks right back in place, and it does not give whatsoever, which is what I really wanted, because I want it to be completely disguised in the side wall over here, that this whole wall will actually open up once you solve the puzzle that's gonna go on the front. And that's what we're gonna get to next week. We're gonna get to figuring out the puzzle that we're gonna put here on the front of this, so you don't even see this mechanism here, and how that re release mechanism is gonna happen. But that's gonna be next week. Hey, leave me a comment down below. Let me know, what do you think of this build so far? What type of puzzle would you put on this to be able to hit that mechanism right there? All right, hope you've enjoyed this, but don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.